dear listeners, welcome to Light FM. My name is Emmanuel Blessing. Emmanuel Washira, Emmanuel Blessing, that is my name. I'm so glad to have you today right here on Light FM. And uh, actually, it's been so long. I I think the last time we met was last Thursday. That's the last time we met on our program today. That is right here on Light FM on our program, Life Probe. And as you remember, by the way, if you are a news listener, if you are a new listener, this is your first time to listen to Life Probe, here at Life Probe we get to talk more about art, more about life in an art perspective yeah i don't know if that makes sense okay yeah it makes sense yes and so we get to talk about art we get to talk about how people are actually using their talents and not only using their talents but using their talents in the right way and so welcome to life probe right here on light f5 and i'm so happy that you chose to listen to light fm this morning our topic today actually is a very 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 sweet topic before I get into our topic for today, I'd like us to to listen to this spoken word. Actually, today we are beginning with a spoken word. As you know, I do spoken word. We are going to begin with a spoken word as our first song. And this is a spoken word by a guy called Prince E.A. Yes, Prince E.A. This is a guy I came to find out on YouTube. And the spoken word that this guy does is going to be our, the basis of our discussion today. And so welcome, let's have Prince EA with his spoken word. Oh yes, I told you Prince EA is the name of that guy and that spoken word. I remember the first time I saw that spoken word, it was actually shared just on a WhatsApp group. And it's a spoken word about talent, as you have heard, about... It's a, it's a teacher and a student talking to each other. And also, like, the basis of the spoken word is about creativity in general, talent, and education. Other people actually are gifted in terms of education. There are those people who are, maybe they're not gifted artistically or in terms of creativity, but they are actually gifted in terms of education. Academically, they are very sharp when it comes to mathematics they are very sharp unlike me yes they are very sharp when it comes to mathematics sciences and everything they are very sharp and so education education first of all you know many people actually the reason we came up with this with, with this debate and this discussion this is a debate that has actually been going on even all over the world is a debate that is actually going on and people are asking between talent and education which one is which one which one should someone focus on which one is more important than the other we get to find out that some people actually someone is talented in a certain way maybe i'm a footballer and being a footballer i decide you know i'll not go to school i'll just play football go play for my new even if we lose just go play for my new or any team and they like to go to school I don't know what your take is concerning that issue. People should not only focus on their talent, but they need to focus on both their talent as well as their education. And that's why I came up with this phrase, education gives you direction, but talents gets you the job. As you, we also come to find out that actually these days in many, jo many job opportunities that come up these days, they, they search for the talent but that doesn't mean that someone doesn't need to go to school that you'll just get the job because you're talented no they're actually searching for the talent and that's why this phrase says education gets you direction it gives you the direction actually it gives you the opportunity to go for that interview it takes you to the interview but the thing that will make you pass that in that interview is your talent and your talent is what is going to get you that job that is just one person who gave his view concerning talent and education. Another person says, a person with talent and a degree is better than one with talent only. Take an example. I am talented in... Okay, I'm talented, I'm talented in spoken word, and you're also talented in... My friend also is talented in spoken word. We are both talented in spoken word. My friend has already gone to school. He has a degree. And... For myself, I just have my spoken word. Maybe I'm even better than him, matters spoken word and everything, but he has that degree. So when we go to school, whom do you think is going to be taken in for that job? Give me your answer. Whom do you think is going to be taken for that job? And so we take a short commercial break with this song. Actually, you know, since I was young, I've loved this guy. His name is Ekodida. I used to love listening to Ekodida songs since I was young, but right now I'm not going to play an Ekodida song. I'm going to play a song by Ekodida's kids that is Keep It Real and I Am Blessed. 
the kids to Ekodida, their song is called Rende. Let's listen to this song then. As we come back, I'm also going to talk about these kids of Ekodida and whether they go to school, how talented they are. We are going to talk about that. Let's take a short break with Ekodida. Yes, welcome back. That is Keep It Real and I'm blessed and also another lady called Sabina. These guys came up with this song called Rende. And I really love this song, Rende. Okay, for, for people who don't understand Kiswahili, maybe, Rende means like it's your, your group, your, your group, the group whom you are together with. Yes, and so, Ekodida's kids, that is, keep it real and I'm blessed. The reason why I love these kids is because, uh -huh, these kids, this is because, you see, Ekodida's kids, first of all, they don't go to school, like an institution somewhere. They don't go to, a, to an institution somewhere, but they are talented. But that doesn't mean that they are not educated. What they do, they do homeschooling. That is another way of education as we also get to learn. They do homeschooling. They do homeschooling. They are just taught at home. A tutor comes at home and they are taught and everything. And matters talent. Definitely they are taught by their father who is also talented in terms of rap as they are. Yes, and so matters education, Ekodida's kids also as I came to find out, they also take education very seriously. They don't despise education that because we are talented, we don't go to school. We are just going to focus on our talent. Yes, and according to an article that I read, an article by Jane Jerry Thu, in Africa, she says that in Africa, education has been deemed as the necessity of necessities, without which one is labeled as doomed for the rest of their lives. She also adds saying, nations like USA, UK, France, among others, students who are smart in book who are smart in books get a chance to go to specific schools that are more academic oriented. And those good in sports and arts go to talent based institutions. That happens mainly in countries like USA, UK, France, among many other countries except our country in okay also in Kenya actually we have also also experiencing the same shift initially we used to go to school just to study if it's primary it's just science social studies english and all those then in high school you just study physics biology chemistry maybe you're very poor in sciences but you have to do that because you're going to be examined in that you get to do the sciences yet maybe you're not talented in sciences you're talented maybe in uh, in languages but you must do these sciences and you must pass these sciences and you find that many people who fail in these sciences as they come out of school they even discourage they even feel as if I don't think I'm important in this world because maybe I got a D in a science. I don't think I'm important in this world. And so that has made many people actually to be depressed and many people to even give up with life because they have been limited to only one way of succeeding in life. That is education, as the world has been telling them. And so over the years in our country, Kenya, that has that, that is, art has not been embraced as a result of the 844 system, where students are examined even in areas they are not good in. But the government has introduced a new academic system whereby there is more of sports and art, not only as a co-curricular activity, which you get to do during games time at 3.30, at 4, not only as a co-curricular activity, but also as a subject that is being taught in class. These days you're also finding actually here in our country people are being taught maybe uh, actually in from primary level they are being taught how to knit to knit how to how to how to be creative actually I remember my younger sister making a wheelbarrow using I don't know what using a cotton like they are being creative they are being taught these things from a very young age such as su such that as they grow up they grow up knowing that this is what I'm talented in and the parent can know how their kid is talented and they'll be able to to nurture to nurture the talent of that kid as they grow up and I remember when I was in school also I I'll just give an example with myself I was not very good and I was not very good in classwork yeah, I'll just be honest and give an example with myself. I was not very good in classwork, and that for me did not mean that now my life, my life should just end. And not being good in classwork, I just had to find out what am I good in, what what is it that God has put in me, 
uh, which is not academics. And so getting to do that soul searching, I came to find out that I'm talented matters spoken word and matters creativity. So I know myself as a creative person, someone who can can be very creative, a creative thinker, not academically gifted, but gifted in terms of creativity. And another thing that I came to learn about, that I came to learn about as I was doing my research is that actually not every A plus student will be successful in real life. And not every D student is going to be a failure. We find that many people getting A's in school, they just get the A's, they get the A's, uh, because maybe they are getting pressure from the parents and they take that a paper they take it to the parent because maybe they are they are their mind is not in school they are not gifted academically and so they don't they just get the A's because the parents are pushing them yet maybe they are not supposed to be they are not academically blessed and so not every a plus student will be successful in real life and not every D student is going to be a failure. We are finding many D students actually, maybe they are D in class, but in real life they are the people who innovate great things. We find actually even here in Kenya people, a person is very poor in academics, but they made a helicopter somewhere somewhere in Nyeri. Somebody, somebody just came up and made a helicopter. They are, like, they are very innovative not academically blessed but they are very innovative in their minds another thing that i came to learn from prince ea that is the spoken word that we played as we began the program another thing that i learned and i loved that line that he said everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. That is a quote by Albert Einstein. If you are going to judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, like in real life, you'll never see a fish climbing a tree. It's not gifted matters climbing a tree. It will always, it will always be in the water, swimming, swimming in the water and moving in the water, but not climbing a tree. And so if you are going to judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live the whole of its life knowing that it's stupid. And that's the same way the world in some areas of the world people are being judged people now being the fish they're being judged by their ability to climb a tree and because they are not able to climb that tree they live the rest of their lives knowing that they are that they are stupid my final view as we conclude our program for today what i'll say is that you know i'll give an example with an athlete maybe someone is an athlete and they are running they just do their athletics they are very good in athletics maybe 100 meters world record holder for 100 meters or 5000 meters you're the best athlete in the world but you choose not to go to school if by bad luck that athlete gets an injury maybe on their foot or on their back and they are not able to run again what does that mean like they are not going to live the whole of their lives with the with, with the money that they received when they when they were running and so going to school is actually an advantage even for an athlete or for any talent such that if these creativity if this talent fails you you already have education as a plan b that is going to back you up and also i've experienced this actually in our country being an example our country kenya being an example where we have many athletes who are running an athlete goes for a competition and maybe that athlete has someone who is managing them and now this person who is managing the athlete is learned but the athlete is illiterate they just know how to run and this person like brings papers actually it's a story that i had someone this person just brought papers for the athlete and told that athlete you know, you know there's this contract that uh, we have been given this contract by a certain company you just need to sign here and the athlete what the athlete did he just took the documents and signed everything just signed 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 without reading because they they even did not know how to read and so they just signed everything and after signing everything, went to to Britain, went, ran, and then came back having won a gold medal and having won millions of money. But now what the manager of this athlete had made the athlete sign was a contract saying that all the money that this athlete is going to win as they go for these games belongs to this manager. Like he has freely given everything. And even a lawyer had signed and it was stamped. Like it was now legally. It was legal that everything that this athlete was owning belongs now to this manager. 
this athlete fell for this trap because he was not learned. And so education is actually very important. And so my view is that people need to focus on both their talents and education at the same time. Don't leave any behind. Just get to manage your time well. Get to juggle both of them well. Let it be a... A 50-50, have a 50-50 win, both your talent and education, you are, you are doing both so that you don't fall, uh, so that you don't fall for any trap that might come. In an example, like what happened to that athlete. Yes, and so thank you so much for joining us in our program today. And that is Life Probe right here on Light FM. I am so glad that we ke we got the time to talk about talent and education. And I believe you are at least enlightened on this topic, talent. Thank you so much. See you next time as we conclude. We are going to conclude with this song by these guys called Heart the Band. The song is called El Shaddai. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.